Um, me personally, how things went down. Um, true Billy. Wood. What's going down, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey. What's going down? What's going on, folks? It's your boy Dub here. Um, Dub, I guess I'll give y'all the government, uh, AKA Warren Henry. Uh, that's what I'm known as. Please don't Facebook me. Um, but yeah, so Dub from here, South Park, uh, born and raised in Houston. Um, Sunnyside majority. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm from, man. If y'all don't know by now, come on. In the clutch equals Houston. Y'all know me as Ross, but my uh, full name, and this is probably gonna be shocking to y'all, is Michael Ross Haynes. My last name is actually hyphenated, so I'm pretty sure some of y'all did not even know that. Um, from Houston, born and raised, love my city always. Um, 29 years old, I'm getting old, man. I'm getting up there in age, man. I'm, I'm almost in my 30s, yo. So, uh, kind of started YouTube a little bit late, but you know, hey, I'm, I'm just blessed to be alive, blessed to still be here on this earth, so. I went to the University of Houston, U of H. Um, go Cougs. Um, uh, didn't graduate there. I went there for my freshman and sophomore year. After the sophomore year, I ended up working more to um, help my family and stuff like that. So I kind of took back from school and uh, started working and whatnot. Um, so yeah. I uh, went to Prairie View a and graduated from Prairie View a and uh, got my bachelor's in communications. So, and it's funny because I didn't think I would be doing YouTube. Like, I thought I was probably gonna do like radio and television, but I ended up doing YouTube. So it's, it's it was cool that I got the experience to go to college and I'm, I'm glad I was able to graduate. I'm one of the first people like in my immediate family that actually went to college and actually graduated because my mom and my dad never got to finish school. So it was just a goal of mine to, you know, obtain that. But ultimately, you know, it, it I ended up doing YouTube, so um, once again, it's just it was just a, a life experience that I was uh, grateful to, you know, been a part of. Um, man, we was been supposed to start a channel, man. Like starting a channel is something that I wanted to do and should have done like straight, like during high school. Um, it was always so much funny stuff going on, and you know, me and the homies, we was always getting into stuff and doing crazy drive-through pranks and. Uh, I mean, all kind of stuff. Like it was just, I, I've been wanting to start a channel, but you know, just kind of looking for something to do. I got to a point to where I was like, man, you know what? I want to make my skits. I want to create, I want to create. So um, that's what just got me back into, you know, doing a YouTube channel. I was like, I'm gonna create something. So that's what happened. Um, Dub actually came up with the idea of a lot of times we would be just watching videos on YouTube late at night, bro, till three, four in the morning. And um, Dub was like, yo, we should start up a channel. Um, he had just, it was just a offhand conversation, but he was serious about it, you know what I'm saying? So me and Brandon was like, all right, cool. But we didn't know how serious he was until, you know what I'm saying, I was on the phone with him. And you know, he, he talking about what laptop he trying to get and he actually got the camera. Well, he had a camera, but he was trying to get a better camera. And then that's when it was like, all right, yeah, he, you know, this YouTube thing, he's, he's really serious about it. And then we started messing around, trying to record skits and stuff like that. And that's kind of how it came apart. It was, it was really dubbed just like, yo, we should do this. I think, you know what I'm saying? We're entertaining enough. Let's get it out there. 
and he took the initiative and then everything else kind of fell in place. Being a YouTuber is cool, man. It's, it's, I guess it's something that you don't really recognize the, the impact of it um, while you're doing it. You just feel like, oh man, I'm just making videos. Um, but I just see it as me creating, you know, I'm just making something. Um, and no, unfor like fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not doing it full time, but it's by choice. You know, I'm still working. Um, but that's because the job isn't really hard. It's not taxing at all. I'm working from home on the computer. So it's like, how hard could it really be? You know what I'm saying right now? Um, but I mean, if I wanted to, I could just do it full time. But I guess just being able to have that, um, those choices, it just makes me just keep working. So I'm gonna get the bag in everywhere I can. So it doesn't matter. I'm gonna answer the second half first. Uh, I do. I do do, <laughs> I do YouTube full time actually. Um, I, I wanna say last year, right when COVID started, right maybe around March last year of 2020, that's when I, I left my job at Amazon and I took a leap of faith and I started doing YouTube full time and uh, it's, it's, it's been a blessing to be able to be able to provide for my family, you know, and just do what I love, wake up every day and just do what I love. Um, it's actually, it's, it's different, but it's not as different as people make it to be, you know what I'm saying? Granted, we haven't gotten to the heights yet of YouTube, you know, fame and stuff like that, but it's it's different in the sense of, like, when, I, when someone asks me, what do I do as a profession? I tell them I'm a YouTuber. And they instantly, things like the conversation changes. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? What, what do you do on YouTube? What's your channel? Like, can I check you out? Like it instantly goes from that prior to when people ask what I did for a job, I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I work for Amazon. And then the next question would be like, so where my package is at? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it, it's, it's, it's actually pretty cool. It gives me a sense of pride just being able to say I am a YouTuber because you know, I, I enjoy what I do, so. Yeah, man, it's 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 cool. Like it's it's nothing too crazy. Like people try to you know make it to be, but I I think it's it's just um, just for me personally, it's it's just chill. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, but at the same time, it is dope to people want to know or check out your content. So yeah. Bros may say that I was chopping on him when he first met me, but no, we uh, we ended up playing in a band. Uh, I was coming in to Dowling Middle School, <clears throat> AKA Hell Hole, my sixth grade year. Ross was going there his first year and he was in the seventh grade. And uh, we both played in the band. I was on the bass drum, he was on the snare. And um, it was just cool because, you know, the percussion section, uh, if you don't know, it's like a brotherhood, you know? So once you get to know somebody in the percussion section, it's like you family, for real. It's like you look, for, look out for each other, you walk around the school, if somebody picking on you, if one of your, you know, big homies is around, they, you know, they're supposed to look out for you. But <clears throat> me and him met in the band. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of jokes and ranking sessions and whatnot that may have uh, sparked the friendship. But if you didn't rank when you went to Darling or if you was in middle school period, I don't know how you survived. Ah, man. Dark days in middle school, man. Uh, nah, uh, we became friends actually through band. Um, we went to a school called Darling, uh, and it was in the hood, <laughs> but uh, it's not called Darling anymore, but we went to school called Darling and middle school actually. And I believe I was in the seventh grade. He was just coming in um, straight from uh, elementary. So, and I had only, I had literally just got there. Like I wasn't there in my sixth grade year. So when he came in, we were both new to the school. It's just, I was just in a, a higher grade than he was. And we both played drums. At the time, he was uh, playing bass drum. I was playing snare drum. And we just kind of got cool, you know what I'm saying? From, just from us being around each other in the percussion section, that's kind of how we ended up just getting cool. Like, it was one of those type of situations where it was just like, he cool people, I'm cool people, or whatever. You know, there was some jokes that was in soon, some chopping sessions that, you know, brought us closer you know what i'm saying you know feelings was hurt but it's okay it happens it happens man. 
You know what? Honestly, I had a lot of inspiration from a lot of people. I'm gonna be 100 with you, but the first person that made me just really, really want to, like the first person that I just watched vlog was Soulja Boy. So people might not know that, but I was a big, like when Soulja Boy and them started vlogging with well, SODMG and like A-Rab and all them and Jabbar, like I was like, man, that is lit. Like, cause it's like, I felt like I had homies like that. You know, homies from the hood, grew up with nothing, you know, even though I didn't get rich, you know, to be able to travel all over the world. But I thought it was dope that he brought his camera along, him and his homies and him having money, they was able to do all kind of like fun videos. They would go to this place, that place, and you would kind of feel like you was there with them as they went and did different things and just had fun. So that was one of the first things that was that I can remember. That I was like, man, dog, I gotta do a YouTube channel. Um. I'm not gonna lie to you, it would, I didn't have no big inspiration. You know, I always watch YouTube, so it wasn't like, oh, well, you know, he's a YouTuber, so I wanna be a YouTuber. Cause like I said, this wasn't even originally the game plan for me in my life. I didn't think this was what I was gonna do. Um, so really the inspiration came from just, um, actually, it may sound cheesy, it came from y'all. Like, honestly, the support we started getting on the channel early on like i'll never forget when we reached 5k subscribers I, we reached 5k subscribers in i want to say december of 2017 bro it had to have been 2017. yeah it was like december 2017 I, I remember that we was all turned up uh because the, just the, the amount of support we was getting that's what made inspire me to like all right I really want to do this. Like I'm, I'm really starting to get, get the, you know, the vibe of this because you guys are really, you know, involved in what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And for those who don't know, it's hard to get uh, you like subscribers on YouTube. It's not the easiest thing at all. So when people are constantly commenting and checking us out and loving the content um, that we was putting out at the time, it was like th that. Ultimately, it should inspire you to keep going and you know keep pursuing it. So honestly, it's you guys. Just to be honest. Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't think there's nobody else that I would rather see perform live, dead or alive, but Michael Jackson. Like, I felt like just with all the clips, we all we got is clips, you know, but it's just, you can feel um, the energy just from watching the videos of how it was at his performances and at his concerts and like the the most legendary the super bowl when he just stood there like you you feel that when you can feel that energy through the computer you just know that shit was probably amazing like live and in person so mike j mm, it's gonna be michael jackson bro i'm sorry like there's some dope artists out there well, it's Michael Jackson. I never got to see him perform live. You know what I'm saying? I've only seen the VHS tapes or the, the specials and stuff like that, but never actually live. That's, it's it's Michael Jackson, bro. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, you, hey, sign me up. I'm there, I'm, I'm about to be in this hole doing all the moves and, and everything. Like, yo, it's it's Michael Jackson. That's all I, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. <laughs> RP Mike, man. I bust my ass. <laughs> um, I bust my ass, man. Uh, I was at the job that I'm at now. Um, I'm just going on five years um, last year at the end of 2020. So um, that was the longest I've ever been at a job. Again, I'm only 29. So, um, you know, that I felt like that was a big accomplishment, but I worked there and I'm gonna be honest, I wanna give a huge shout out to my wife because plenty of times my wife allowed me to spend our last to buy equipment. Um, I mean, to buy a laptop, to buy a camera. And I mean, I know you hear them stories where people are like, man, hey, hey, you got, you got to go to your last, man. You got to go to your last. But I mean, in actuality, you don't really recognize it until you're actually in that position where you're making a choice of like, man, do I follow? Do I still do what I can to chase this dream that could possibly one day help us? Or do I just keep on working and just keep on praying that something God's just going to throw a blessing down? You know, I think faith without work is dead. So at some point, you got to put some type of, you got to take a leap at some point. And I, I was so scared to leap, but yeah. So shout out to my wife. Uh, 
I was working at Amazon, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know, trying to save as much money as possible. Not gonna lie to you. That stimulus check, when it first came around, actually helped out, no cap. For me, for my personal channel, um, that's when I, I was able to use that money to buy me a camera. See, uh, I, when money is like that, when situations come like that, I didn't just abuse it. I actually used it to help grow when I was trying to grow. So over time, just me saving up or whatnot was able, you know, to put me in a situation where it's like, okay, I need this equipment. I need this, I need this. And I just had a list of things that I was just trying to knock off my list. So that way I could constantly be upgrading the channel and put out the best quality possible. So that's really, if, it is, if anyone's trying to figure that out or whatnot and trying to figure out how to, you know, get the equipment they need, all you gotta do is just put some money aside. Or if you get some extra money, put it aside, you know, get a list of things that you know you wanna get to improve whatever you're trying to do with your channel and just knock it off one by one. And that's, that's really the best way to do it. We running it up, man. Um, I wanna get to a milli. I wanna get to a milli. I think that's always been my ultimate goal for the channel is just get to a million. Um, don't ask me why. It was just, you know, once you just put a goal for something, once you set a goal for something, when you start something, that's the only goal that's in your mind until you complete it. That's like, you know, joining the NFL, like the first thing in your mind is like, man, I wanna get a ring. I wanna win a championship. So getting to a milli will be my championship. Uh, my goals on the main channel, obviously, we want to hit a million, man. I know we we had talked about it, me and Dub had talked about possibly hitting it in 2022, but nah, man. <laughs> it's We almost at 600K now, so it's like, why not shoot for the stars, you know what I'm saying? And land on the moon, you know? So it's one of those type of situations where it's like, all right, cool. We know where we're trying to go to. We're trying to switch up the content, you know, make sure that you guys enjoy what we're putting out there. We don't want to half-ass it. So that's the major goal I know for the main channel is definitely getting to a million, man. And I, I know that's a, a possibility. I know for my personal channel, uh, my goal is to hit 100K. Hit 100K by the end of the year on my personal channel. And um, I just want to continue to keep growing the fan base on both channels, man. Because you guys are amazing. And, you know, we love you guys so much. So that's why it's it's nothing too major. But it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some hard work, some dedication, some grind this year to make sure that we achieve those goals. So, yeah, 2021. That's what we're doing. Going all the way up. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. Um, I feel like if you speak in from the heart, I mean, it is what it is, man. Like, we're not yes men. You know, like, we we speak how we feel. And um, whether you like it or not, I mean, we don't come off with comments malicious. You know, we're, we're not malicious with our take on things. We really come from our heart. And I feel like when somebody coming from their heart with something, you can't be mad at them if that's who they are. You know, but if they're willing to change their mindset, if they're wrong, that just shows you how much of an even better man they are. But um, when things are controversial, man, we speak our mind. If if you haven't, go watch our podcast. I mean, a lot of times we actually speaking against the grain on a lot of things um, that people, you know, talk about nowadays. But if it's, if it's on our mind, bro, and if it's something we feel, I feel like all you got is you, your word, and um, how you move in life. If you can't be honest about how you feel about something, what can you do? If y'all know us, and y'all been watching us, we don't give a damn. Pardon my French. But we don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? We gonna say how we feel. Now, we, we like to take considerations of other people's feelings and their opinions. And that's cool. That's what makes YouTube a great place. Because you all can have an opinion. But we're not about to sugarcoat how we feel about certain stuff. If you don't like it, you ain't gotta watch it. That's the real world for you. Everybody's not gonna agree with you. So we're not the type of people to be yes men or to try to appeal to one demographic or other. Nope, we're gonna say how we feel about it 
And you know what I'm saying? We can have a, a civilized discussion, but outside of that, that's just how we are, man. Like we want to entertain, but we also want to keep it real with with how we operate off camera. Because a lot of people tend to fake it on camera just to so they don't lose subs. Look at them. If you loyal, you'll stay. If you're not, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? We not your cup of tea. So that's how we. That's how I balance it. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how Doug balances it as well. So. The story is plain and simple, man. Uh, Ross is a bully. No, I'm playing. Um, Ro Ross is a funny guy, man. Ross, Ross, Ross been through a lot. I always tell Ross, Ross got a movie life, man. Like, just just getting to know Ross, bro. It always seemed like some shit happened to Ross that would only happen in the damn movies, man. Like, Ross would go through the weirdest things. Then it was so funny, but you know, as much as we joked about Ross and chopped on Ross, Ross is good company. He's good energy. Um, he always gonna show up if you need him. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what he's going through, he gonna he gonna be there. He gonna make his his way to uh, to see um, if he's straight. You know what I'm saying? So uh, all, all jokes aside, he, he the homie, bro. Like you know, well, I only hang around people that I can trust anyway. So gotta have some type of chemistry. So mm, story is simple. He was talking about me and Ben, and I ain't like it. So. I told on him, and then we became friends. <laughs> this is exactly how you think I'm making this up. That's how we got cool, bro. Hey, man. Nah, that's that's honestly, well, it's just just being around somebody, you know, in the band and we played in percussion. Uh, we actually, we got even cooler once he hopped on the snare line uh, with me. We actually kind of got cooler. Granny, he was still an asshole, guys. But at, at the end of the day, it was it was all love. Like I remember the times, you know what I'm saying? I went over there, spent the night at his crib, you know what I'm saying? And we it was just cool. So that's really how we became friends. Like, and it's it's always good to have that friend that you know, y'all can make fun of each other and, and rank on each other. Cause you want those type of friends. You don't want no no yes man friends or people that you know too serious all the time you know so it was it was it was basically that's how it happened and i ain't gonna lie to you so no nah, i wouldn't because if i would have wanted to i would have did that in the beginning you know if, if i wanted to just do in the clutch by myself i would have made a youtube channel by myself and wouldn't have told nobody you know, like that, it's just, I don't know, I just always felt the camaraderie me and the homies have, that needs to be on display somewhere. The laugh Ross have, like the, the way Brandon uh, used to like not get it and stuff like that, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is, you can't make that up, man, it's real. So I didn't want to do it by myself, not that I couldn't, but it's because I just felt like it's a whole package when you get everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just a package deal. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I wouldn't. I, I like it how it is, and clearly it's working. It's the camera on me, right? It's close. It's, it's good. You can see me. No, I wouldn't. ITC ain't ITC if it ain't both of us in it. That's what got our solo challenge for. But all seriousness, no. Uh, nah, I definitely wouldn't. Um, it's just. It don't seem, it's not gonna be the right. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it wouldn't feel right because how we bounce off each other when it comes to ideas and our chemistry on camera. It's not fake. You can't fake that. You can't just, you know, do that with any random person on the street. You know, like, oh, you wanna do a video and be a part of this? No, like you gotta actually know the person, wanna be around the person on and off camera. So it's one of those type of situations where if there was a situation, uh, a scenario where I could branch off but be the face of ITC. I wouldn't do it. If he ain't going, I ain't going. So, and if that if it's not happening, then hey, that's just what it is. But I, I'm not one of those type of people, bro. So, nah. I'm a family man. But nah, yeah, I'm full-time dad, full-time husband. I'm a full-time son. I'm a full-time brother. Um, I'm, a, I'm just a full time, like the, the minute the camera go off, daddy, daddy, can you, daddy, can you, can you, daddy, are you recording tonight? Like it's, it's, it's always on, like it's lit. 
Um, but at the most part, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, what I do outside of YouTube, I be chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I may be, I may be out and about. You know, I may be mingling. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I really just be chilling or whatnot. I'm either maybe at the crib on the game, or you know, a lot of times. YouTube is still kind of a part of my life, honestly. The only other thing that I probably do, and some of you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, is the dancing. That's that's what a lot of people have you know known me for. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, that's probably the one other thing I probably do outside of YouTube is dancing. But 90% of the time, or well, I'm gonna say 80% of the time, I'm either working on videos, doing something channel related. If I'm not, I'm just chilling, enjoying my life, you know, kicking back. Nothing too crazy. So that's pretty much what I do. The darkest moment during YouTube is, um, I would have to say, not being able to get the home we wanted um, a couple years ago while we was recording. Um, and just moving um, from place to place. Um, if you, you know, people don't know, but I moved around a lot growing up. And, um, you know, not really being able to have an establishment um, is not anyone's fault, but it's just what it is, you know? So um, I always tried to make it to where when I got older, when I had kids, when I got married, I wanted to make it to where that didn't happen, you know, because I wanted to break generational curses and I wanted to move our generation a step forward from where it was. Cause the generations are, I feel like are always supposed to move and get better. So I wanted to change that aspect. And during YouTube, when I was recording, um, I felt like it was times where I was like, man, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not doing enough. And um, it was hard, man. Like, you know, even we even had a video. I want to say it's the um, joining Lucas, I'm um, not a racist. That video is so funny. So if you look at it now, we was actually surrounded by boxes because that was moving night. Um, that next morning we was moving. So when we recorded that video, it was actually, we were actually surrounded by boxes. I actually made a little corner uh, for us to record in and we recorded. And I mean, it's just, you don't realize like so many backstories we have during recording sessions of you know trying to make it to where you, you're getting bubbly because you know you're, you're inspiring other people people come to you because they having a long day so they want to come to you and you got a long ass face so you know it was it was a lot to deal with mentally knowing that i wasn't in a position and building the foundation um or having the foundation that i wanted to but god works in mysterious ways and he did it to build my character build the character around the people around me and it got me into a home now Darkest moment, man. Um, doing YouTube, I don't, I don't think, I wouldn't say, I'll say this, me being distracted, that that was probably my darkest moment, me being distracted by certain individuals and, you know, not taking in consideration of what other people around me was trying to help me do, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, taking for granted of, the platform and the opportunity that's around me, you know what I'm saying? So if that's probably the one darkest moment I could think of, you know, just me, you know, losing myself and somebody else and not really focusing on what's in front of me really. So that's probably the one thing I can think of offhand. Got me on. I got that foundation. I, I was able to, um, me and my wife, you know, we came together, we prayed, we buckled down, and we got a house that was even better than the one we wanted before. So, talk about how God works. If you don't believe him, we to try him. Best moment? Hmm. I still think the best moment is, uh, when we reached 100K, that was, that was a pretty special moment. When that plaque came in, because we reached it, and it was cool. When that plaque came in the mail, that was the moment of validation. Like, all right, yo, you know what I'm saying? I had people out in the clubs talking about, oh, them boys, you know what I'm saying? The ITC in the clubs, them boys, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you check them out, they over 100K subscribers, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that, was, that was cool to me, bro. Like, just the amount of love and support we was getting from that was amazing. So, 
yeah, that will always be a special moment. But I think when we hit a million, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a whole nother one. Interesting. Um, me personally, how things went down, um, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I wouldn't be opposed to it at all. Uh, I think that would be something we would have to have a, a real sit down, talk me and Dub, and we'd have to have an actual conversation with him. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. At one point, I was like, nah, it was like, nah, bro, that's. Nah, he cool, but nah, he ain't, I ain't rocking with that. But at the same time, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would be more open to seeing what could possibly happen if that was the case. So yeah, hey, you never know what may happen in the near future, but if he was to wanna, you know, maybe make an appearance on the channel, I wouldn't even have a problem with it. I know you guys would love it. So I wouldn't have a problem with it, me personally, so yeah. True Billy will be welcome. And this is this is something funny um, that Ross don't even know about, but me and Brandon actually talked last night. Last night, me and Brandon had a, like an hour long phone conversation. And um, we we talked and we we figured out what what happened. You know, he, he told his piece and how he felt, and I told my piece and how I felt. And um, we had a really, really strong man-to-man -man conversation. And I just wanted to let him know that, you know, no matter what's going on, you look look at life, man, life is short, you know? So no matter what the problem is or what happened, it's always something that we can figure out. So we, we had a really good conversation. We had a good one. And um, the homie the homie would be welcome back if he wanted to come back. Um, again, we would all talk as a group you know, to, to make sure everybody is on the same page because just because I had a conversation doesn't mean Ross shouldn't have one. I think he needs his own separate one as well. Um, but just me personally, I wouldn't oppose it. I, I'd be cool with it. And y'all would love it. Y'all would, would love that, right? Uh, what's next? Growing the channel, man. Uh, of course, reaching the subscriber goal, but bringing y'all the best pop content possible. Each year we want to upgrade in whatever we doing, whether it's something that y'all may have noticed, which a lot of you guys pay attention to. Oh, oh the mic quality sound better. Oh, the, the thumbnails look better. Oh, this and that and this, you know, we, we, we're trying to want to get more back into our skits because you know, we know you guys love that. We're trying to get the podcast back up and going. There's a whole bunch of other story, things that we, we be bouncing ideas on, you know, and it's one of those type of things where that's really the goal is to make sure there's something for everybody. You got your reactions, you got your music reviews, you got the gaming stuff. We're trying to get that started up back again. The gaming content, like different avenues so that way people can be like, oh, okay, ITC ain't just doing reactions now. Oh, they doing this, they doing that, they doing this. And the numbers, they'll, they'll, they'll come when they come, but we just wanna make sure whatever we put out for y'all, y'all enjoy, y'all entertain. ITC is about to run up. We're about to put the work in, man. Um, y'all see the difference, changes and stuff already. Hell, even this video. You see the thumbnail enhancements, you see, it's, it's the little things, you know what I'm saying? And we're, we're about to start ironing up on the little details of things we wanna fix. And um, yeah, we're about to run it up, man. I do plan on uh, creating a separate channel uh, for sports. Um, we got a couple of the homies that are real, you know, adamant about sports talk and feel like it's something that we need to bring uh, to, you know, our channel or something of our channel. So I want to make a sub channel, something to dedicate it strictly to sports because I feel like people can just get their shit off. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where people can go and, you know, say how they feel about LeBron not being a GOAT or say how they feel about him being a GOAT or Jordan and all this. And you know what? Um, it'll be a dope, safe space, you know, for whoever want to join. So I just feel like we about to start creating the different levels, man. I, I really want us to get into our creative bag, get back into the skits, um, how we actually thought about doing the channel originally. You know, I think I think now that I'm set in life, 
on my foundation. Now I got something to walk on. Now it's time to build on top of it. <sighs> well, uh, yeah, man, this is a different type of video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys appreciate an uh, introspective look into our lives. And, you know, I, we appreciate the hard hitting questions. Some of them weren't that hard hitting at all. Some of them were a little bit weird, but we appreciate everyone that participated on Instagram, on our YouTube, on Patreon, wherever that you guys sent in questions for us. We appreciate it. Even if we didn't get to them, uh, we did check out the majority of them. So all I would like to say is we love you guys. We appreciate all the love and support. We'll always continue to be thankful for each and every one of you guys. Wow, y'all. We are not in the situation we in. So, yeah, that's it, man. It's your boy Ross. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, we just appreciate y'all, man. You don't understand how dope it is. Um, on the channel, uh, another dope thing. I don't, I don't think I said it, but like getting that plaque, man. When we got it, it was just one of the most phenomenal accomplishments. It, it was just, it was surreal, you know, because we reached 100k. But when the plaque came in and we actually looked at it and we touched it and we felt it and we was just like, man, it's it, Gary, your reality, your inside of your mind, your mentality kind of became a reality. You know, you was able to touch something that was tangible. Um, and that that was just a dope, dope thing, man. So appreciate y'all, man. Again, we love y'all. And I don't say the love word just to say, it. like I truly mean what I say. I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all are family. You know, we get to hop on live, we joke around. It's like brothers and sisters, you know, we we, we we folks, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I want this channel to feel because it's enough, it's enough going on in life, man, that you got to worry about and stuff like that. Some people getting picked on, some people are depressed. There's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So I want to spread love and spread positivity. And I want you to know, hey, even though I don't know you personally, I know you though, we got your back. Hey, but I know one thing though, don't you ever, Forget who we are. We in the clutch, baby. That's it. That's a nice one, my Take this shit off me, man. <laughs> Where's my water? He's <laughs> oh. That's it. Unlike me, man. Take the mic off. Take it off. We was homies since some young bucks. Niggas change, move different, and start to switch up. Yeah. So when nobody gon' hold me. Yeah. So when nobody gon' hold me down. All I asked from her was loyalty. She changed the back on me as soon as I ain't give royalties. Yeah. So nobody gon' hold me. Yeah. So nobody gon'.